Good morning. So continuing with um, Snippet Pixie development today, uh, trying to, I think we were saving, getting the database, the backend database up and running on the new daemon. Uh, so I think yesterday I got kind of a little bit distracted and didn't quite get to grips with what I was going to do with opening the database and creating a new one and so on. Um, but I think um, I think I'll just do the basic simple thing here um, and uh, worry about um, any edge cases later. So um, I think what I need to do is so I'm in the run function here, um, after we've created a new service, which includes the dbus connection, um, uh, and we've configured where we're going to get the database in the init, um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get the full db path here, uh, which is basically the user's data, data directory plus um, the relative path to the database there, so that might be snippetpixyd slash snippetpixyd.db. Um, I think we'll then um, do a quick check here to make sure that we have the folders in place to write the database. Uh, because, yeah, let's just check, yes, yeah, so... Yeah, because yesterday when we ran it, we did not see any snippet pixie folder pop up, which is what we need. Uh, we should have a com dot yeah that's the existing one from the actual um current release and i'm going to have a, a simpler name from now on so okay let's close off so let's create um we need to get the directory and make it so Make sure databases directory exists. So that will be um, going to do we're going to do service make dot or the path which is file path dia on db file path so that gives us the directory And then uh, permissions. And I think I think we'll probably So they're too open for my liking. I wonder why it's doing that. This is more like it. It should be seven five five. I'll do that. 
So I think... I believe I can get away. I had a quick look last night. I believe I can get away with this. But we'll see. See if that works. I only read the docs. I didn't try it, so... We'll see. Okay. So that should, in theory... Make the directory ready. We then open the database. Defer its close. Log that we've opened it. And then we're going to start doing the right into in a second. So let's just save that see whether at this point it creates the directories um, go build so slip d run it there we go so we now have a snippet pixie d so if I go in there Oh, that's interesting. It's created it just seven. Seven zero zero zero. Fine by me. All right, and there's nothing in there. So. Okay. All right. Let's open up the database then. So, um, serve dot snippets is equal to Stupid new manager serve dot db and why is that complaining? Unhandled error. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that should be okay now. So that, in theory, will actually create all the database tables and everything. So this is a proper good test. I run it. Okay. Let's build it. Run it. What have we got in here? We have a database. Cool. 
Um, that's the old on. Duplicate that. Snippet pixie D and change the path. Schemas. Okay. Let's have a look. We have a settings table, version one sixty. We have a snippets table with an ID, abbreviation, body, and last used. And that has text, not now primary key, abbreviation, body, last used, times up. And it has last used as a index. A unique one with the ID. Perfect. Okay. So that's worked. Neat. Okay. Kill that off. So I need to run some tests there. Um, on the daemon main. I've got D bus, what have we got in there? Add snippet. All right, so in theory that works. Okay. So we've already got the test for it. So I should, I should in theory, be all set to actually hook up the CLI to use the dbus interface and ask the daemon to add a snippet because it's there yeah okay uh let's try that um so I'm right, getting a bit cluttered here. I think I'll actually I'll just close all of them on. Right. And we'll look at so on the CLI we're gonna need a ping. Uh, so I'm gonna need a a way we're going to, well two things we need we need a dbus function that says go add a snippet please and then we need a way of actually telling the cli that's what we want to do I'm going through and doing it. So okay, first of all, let's save this off. Do 
did we do here? I don't want that in there. I want that in there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, right, so we changed. We added the dboss.com, we added the new, we changed it to new service. Okay. And then we did the database stuff. Um, so in that case, um, enable open in and Opening uses snippets database. Okay. Right. So in the CLI. We need to do some flag stuff, I think, first. Um, so this is where it's going to get interesting because we haven't had um, any kind of command line interface yet for add-in snippets. Previously, it's all been GUI based. So we need to now devise a a method of adding snippets. There's two ways we can do this. We could have your kind of usual, um, I'm in the wrong test there, don't want to be in there. Well, I want to be in there. Um, we could do dash dash add and then have expected parameters of dash dash abbreviation, dash dash body, which is all we need actually at the moment. Or we could set up a new set of flags that expects A command like a sub command so we could have you call it stop it bixie um, add and then you give it an abbreviation and body if we do it that way we can do without any flags because we could have it positional and you when we require to two arguments as in the abbreviation and the body
which seems okay. What do we have in the package? We have get we have and snippet get snippets Get snippets ending with abbreviation. And get snippets with abbreviation. So for the get, we could end up with snippet big C, get, and then if you just put in some string, it does a search. If you do snippet big C, get, dash dash ending its argument pram would be what you want to use for the abbreviation get snippets with abbreviation again snippet pixie get dash dash abbreviation and then give it at some point we're going to want to do a delete that could be a positional step it pick C del delete whatever remove um, and then you give it the abbreviation And then the update, that'll be interesting. Snippet big C update, positional parameter for the current abbreviation. And then you could add, okay, abbreviations change into this or you could add body is changed into this blast used and to make things yeah that should do I'm not sure how we're going to display the get, but uh, sorry, the get snippet. Um, but we'll get there. Okay. All right, let's do an add. I think we will. I think we'll do it as a command, sub command. So. Let's do a failing test then. 
So at the moment, this passes. We hope. Let's just do a quick test. OK, pass. Let's make Let's make a failing test now, because we haven't done anything for this yet. Let's do snippetbxc add sp backtick. Ah. And that's going to call command add snippet. Um, and the arguments are going to be a slice string with sp dash and snippet pixie. Okay. That should fail. Yep. Nothing is equal is not equal to add snippet. Okay. Well, let's go make this pass then. Uh, so What we now need is a separate function, I think, because we're going to start getting a bit, going to get a bit silly, isn't it? If we start making add move get So be interesting actually when we get to the ones that are similar.
Okay. Here's something I want to test. I get going too far. Um, if I do this, what kind of usage do I get? None. Okay. So what I wanted to test there was now I drop through and recognize that something daft was added. Because uh, that's not going to be daft soon. But, you know, if you were to actually um, do snippet pixie wibble, wibble, that's nonsensical. We don't have a wibble command and we don't, and it doesn't have a wobble argument should really get a usage message there. So let's fix that. Let's actually Hmm. We do need to actually catch and do a usage. Let's do a failing test. Test in it fail. And we'll keep this structure because we can do a few different tests. Let's take this out for the moment. And um, snippet pixie. At the moment, snippet pixie on its own should, in theory, just fail. I'm not going to do any kind of expected return at the moment. I'll um, let's 
just do the one. Okay, so. We're going to get there. I'm going to expect True. And I equal to nil. Hopefully that works. Flags passed. Failed. And then we could do some standard out stuff. Um, let's do That is true. Out. No, it's um, So len out. Great than zero. Expect what to put, and then we could have um, what have we got on strings. Is there contains? Yep. Cool. Okay. So we can do strings contains uh, usage. So this is going to, this failing test is going to fail. I guess I could leave that one in and that's going to fail anyway as well. But Go to this minus V. 
Right, expected command name didn't get one, good. And a return from init did not happen. So that's good, that's what we expected. So now we need to fix that. Um, can't remember. Where's the P flag? SP, oh, GitHub, isn't it? Which one is it? This one. There we go. just uh, search for usage then that's not going to be great is it Just want to be able to display the usage. Basically, want it to fail. Okay. Right, so flag usages. And what's that one? Carl's there. Nah. Okay. So flag usages. Is there one at the top level? Mm. 
No. Okay, right, well, in that case, um, at least I am actually using flag sets. So, Okay, let's try this then. So in this current version, if none of these are hit at the moment, something's gone wrong. So I can do Um, and then I can do flags dot flag usages. Yeah. Right, so in this current flag set, which only recognizes ping or p status or version, which is what we're currently catching here. If the version of flag has been set or the ping flag has been set one way or another or the status flag has been set one way or another, we do their thing. Otherwise, we have nothing to do. Yeah, because I think there's going to be a bit of a change in the next version. We used to have that if you call snippet pixie on its own, it would show the GUI. Um, that might change. We might have a dedicated GUI app. We'll see. But for the time being, that's going to be the case. Uh, so. In theory, um, oh, that returns something. All right, so I need to print that. Mm hmm. Okay. So hold on. So at the moment, if I do yeah, 
Yeah, it recognizes that. And is that to stand it out? Yeah. Because if I send one. Okay. Hmm. Okay, in that case, where should we put it? Should we log it? Or to format print? to it Is there a help? No. Hmm. Interesting. It's not defined. Okay, in that case, Let's do a couple of things. We should have help messages. So let's do help. Um, uh, no, it's no good because we want output.
Let's do this. Expected out as a string. And then here, do that. Uh, let's do that quickly. Dot comma um mark b substitute this comma end for nothing So they all ex oh. Can't do that. That wasn't right. Do it again. Right. Substitute. So we want that. I should have just done it. Um, come on, then the end for comma and comma. Okay. So. All of them expect no output, apart from this, um, and that's going to be, it's going to have some sort of usage in it, so we're going to expect usage at some point in it. I'll do a contains on that. Um, Yeah, no command. And then in the little test here, what we'll do? Um, if spec dot expected out length is greater than zero then test just grab that from we just did did that down here These two. Okay. So we'll do that. So if we don't ex if we expect um, output, and uh, then we should have something there, and it should contain. The spec dot expect out expect um, expected. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're going to be testing for dash dash help and dash dash h. And it should have some sort of usage. Take out that for a moment because I want that to pass now. Um, and then in main, It is actually a pool, isn't it? So So we have help flag, help usage. Display this help. Message. Gonna make it a P and pass in each. And as long as we get that, Do that as top priority. Help flag, no command. Uh, we will do format Print line to out flags dot back usages do not care about the output. That's that done and dusted. No command is set. Do have some output. Whereas here, but here, what we want to do is return errors. new with the result calling that maybe in the main test if you don't pass anything For the moment, it's just going to fail. So we expect an error. We expect output. That might not work. Um, and we expect usage. Okay, so this is probably not. This failing test is probably going to fail. 
And let's try this. Now I expected this one to fail, but not this one. Strings contains out. Okay, so that works. Display this help message. Do the thing. And it's all going to stand it out. There's no error there, so that's good. But what we don't have is that parsing for some reason. Those two, isn't it? Yes. Oops. So, what output did we? Oh, we didn't have usage. Okay, um, good point. Good point. When I run normal snippet pixie, oh. nope. I do get usage, blah, blah, blah. So I do need to do a little block at the top. And a nice Yeah, that would make sense. Uh and I've run out of time. Boom. Okay, I gotta go. Um so I'll finish that off tomorrow. Um but that was okay, that was good, we're getting there. Uh we just need to sort out that help message and then move on to doing failure conditions and stuff but we'll do that um tomorrow uh so um thanks for watching um until next time take care